hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to fetch the data okay so in previous video we have inserted the data and in this video we are going to fetch the data so we will be uh, we are doing that the model okay php uh, bootstrap model so i will show you the output so guys this is the php crud we are using the bootstrap model that is pop up model okay so when we add the data the data is getting added okay so if you want to know about this i have given the link in the description so you can just copy from there and i mean watch out the video to how to do this inserting with the power model so guys in this video now we are going to fetch the data in into a table format okay so i'll show you the code so here guys so till now we have done that is this is the model where we have inserted it okay so this is the model for that pop-up thing for this add model so this model comes from this code okay and this is our container right so if you are watching from the first then you will understand it very clearly or else if you are watching now i mean from this video you will not understand the flow so guys please watch out the playlist full playlist so guys this is the heading which i have given and this is the button for the add data so here this is the heading and this is the button right so now what we are going to do is that we will design a table over here okay so this is for the heading purpose this is for the button purpose and now we will create one more row for the uh, one more card for the table design okay so let's design one card mm. so c a r d card give enter and let's um this card body okay so guys this i am using a bootstrap thing okay bootstrap 4 so i have the link over here given that okay so that card is designed by the bootstrap thing so guys as simple i will go to the getbootstrap.com okay so let's go back getbootstrap.com and click and try to search the table so let's click on documentation and search for the components click on components and see the tables okay so we are not getting over here so let's type it table so we got the table over here search and it came now so let's take one this this one okay so I'm going to use this one that is table dark okay so so I'm going to copy this okay so let's copy this so yes copy this and let's get back to our code and paste it over here okay so we have pasted now so don't need to get confused I will show you what is that we have done okay clear very simple and uh, yes this is also done so this is our table which we just now copied it and guys now I'm going to remove some of it because this is actually a three line code okay so that is I'll show you the output now let's go back and go reload the page control R so you are getting like this right so I just want to fetch from the database okay so that is first we have to enter the things according to our uh, requirements okay so let's get back and what I'm going to do is that I'll remove all this so so let's um, now I will show you the output now so let's reload it once again and it is showing one one okay so now I'm going to do is that now we have to do is, is that first will be ID okay so let's go to our table head so inside the table head this is the ID right so I'm going to type is as ID and this is first name first name name and the last name last name and what are the contents which we are going to retrieve 
so this is my database which I have created a database called PHP CRUD okay so it's loading and this is my table student so inside that student I have five fields okay ID first name last name course and contact okay so let's enter first name last name course and final one is one is that contact okay so let's copy this paste it and type it as contact okay so let's save this and view the output of it okay so let's go back reload so we are getting first name last name course and contact okay so we want to fetch the data from this database what is there Ved and Om Prakash over here okay so let's get back to the code and just remove all this so yeah so let's add this one more column over here okay so that is for the ID and the next is for first name last name contact Oops. contact and the final contact okay so this for one ID first name last name course and contact so guys now what we are going to do is that we have to do the php coding now to retrieve the data into this table structure right so i have already done the code i'm going to paste it because it takes much time to type the code over here so we are going to paste the code okay so i'll paste it i will show you how the code is okay as a simple structure query okay so this is my code which it is used okay so guys this is the query which we are going to use in this our table format okay so inside this we are going to use this code okay so I have done it so guys simple a variable is created and the MySQL I connect that is my local host username and password I don't keep and the database connection that is going to connect and my this night database name okay so I'll show you the database name so this is my database name PHP CRUD okay so it is over here it is used then I have created one more variable that is uh, query and where I'm going to select all star means all okay select star from the student name of which this database okay so student let's search student okay it's over here okay so this student table which has ID, F name, L name, course and contact, exact spelling. Okay, so it's done, and uh, it have called that selecting star from this student name. The data is selected, and it is telling that the query, MySQL I query connection, and that with that connection, it is fetching the table. Okay, so now query run. I am given variable. Okay, so if this query is correct, then I have given a if statement where dollar query run this query run okay I have executed if this query run is correct it should display the data okay so I have used for each loop to display the data what is there into the database else it should tell me no record found okay so as simple let's save this and we will view the output now so guys um, uh, let's reload the page and the data is coming over here okay so it is not coming into the table structure because we have not given into the table format okay so now what we are going to do is that we will divide these codes okay so first step i will tell you after this query so just divide the php okay so let's close this php over here and again start the php okay so let's start this php right and then again close the php over here okay so close it close the php and yes again start the php after this echo display okay so that is php okay and it is close the php 
right so now what we have to do is that uh, first step let's take this okay cut this cut and paste above the table okay so I'll show you paste it above the table okay so this is the table now so let's align this little better way okay so this is the table inside this table we have to fetch it over here this TR okay so that is table body okay table row so I am going to give the difference that is table body okay so let's save this and let's get back to the code of top which we have divided it so just cut this cut and come down and paste above this table body okay control V I have pasted it let's align this okay so after this we have to um, end the for each right so that is after this body okay so let's go to the coding part so let's cut this cut and display it over here below this body table body okay so table body paste it paste so guys let's align this and yes okay so it is in a structured format way so guys now in this for each loop so this is my bracket open this is a close and now we are going to display the thing over here okay so that is these contents okay so these contents will be displayed it so let's I will just give a backspace and we will display the content over here okay so that is um, let's close that and get back to the code so PHP open PHP close now echo the variable is here show show and paste right so guys we have to do like this okay for all these things so I'm going to paste this I mean remove that and paste five times okay so done and now let's rename this f name okay name so this names will be from my database okay f name so I'm going to copy this l name okay so let's type it over here l name that is last name and next is course c o u r s c course and final one is contact okay so that is contact done let's save this and uh, yep let's get back and execute the page so reload the page and boom so you are getting the data right so now I will show you that one more detail we will add and we will get the content over here okay so let's add like KSHPU Kushbu N B C A phone number okay some numbers and let's save this and it will get added over here and it will be retrieve all the data what you do it okay so guys now um, let's add one more detail so that is um, Javeria Sharif okay from BCA some phone number and let's save it and again you are getting that detail and that is fetched okay guys so guys in this video you have learned how to make this uh, fetch this data from the database and how to create a table okay so guys I am um, in next video we are going to how to edit and update the data using this uh, pop-up model bootstrap model okay guys so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share